I'd like you to be a piece of a part of art. I'd like you to join me in a piece of in being a piece of a, a part of art. I want to make a piece of art and I need your help. What I want to do is just as a piece of art, not as a solution to any problem, not as a, a hope to any future for the campground, for the island, but just as a piece of art, just for its own sake, as a phenomena, as a Sistine Chapel for the entirety of the campground, for everyone who's here. I'd like you to make a your perfect sign. And I'd like you to stand on the street with it. And I'd like you to do it for a while. When you can. And I'd like you to just imagine like post-it notes, your perfect signs, held by people, not stuck on billboards, held by one-of-a-kind mutations. This is a piece of art. This is not a religious movement. This is not an organization of any kind. This is a piece of art. This remains uninterpreted. It is simply holding a sign that says you're perfect. Any other idea about it, and it becomes ruined. It's just a piece of art. Just imagine it in all of the different languages. just for a little while. White letters with black around the rims is the easiest for the cars to see. Make it big enough so that a car across the street can see it. to help with any anxiety that may arise from being out there make it on a folding piece of cardboard so you can open and close it it's also fun because it's kind of like you can flash it and when you're walking you can close it up and there's no sense that you're wandering around with some kind of placard nobody can see the message if you don't care about that, then make it on a solid piece of cardboard or board. It's the easiest thing to hold and you can prop it against edges of things. Don't abandon it. Don't allow it to exist without you. The art is ruined if it's not being held by a living experience. And when you're holding it, enter into a space where you feel patient kindness for whatever interpretation someone may have to the sign. A reaction to the sign is not personal to the one who's holding it. the viewer interprets it through their education which is literally their private memory movie filmed through the finite course of their footsteps and or wheelchair rolls 
tracks or crutches or cane. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman or both or neither. It doesn't matter what color the tissue that holds the organs and covers the muscles and bones is. It doesn't matter if you touch men or women, have children or don't. It doesn't matter if you have a job or don't have a job, if you have a bank account or don't have a bank account. It doesn't matter if you believe in something that no one else can see. All that matters is for a little while, if you want to be a part of this, you just become patient kindness and don't take anything personally. And if someone asks you, what is that all about? Just say you. People will attempt to argue with you. It, invariably, someone will come up and will say, only Jesus is perfect. Or no one, nobody's perfect. Or, fuck you. Or, these reactions are not personal. And they're an incredible way to develop courage. They're as impersonal as someone saying, Thank you. That's so nice of you. You're incredible. You are too. That's not personal either. Now it feels wonderful to connect with the perception of connection. So enjoy that if you're out there. However, don't believe in it too strongly. Simply see what happens and allow what happens and protect yourself if you have to. There are many places to sit where you can rise up just a little bit. You can also lay down or sit on the street. You can walk around with it. And if you walk slowly, you can feel how the single source is in motion and that motion includes you and that everything you see is a version of this single source. It will include all kinds of emotions, including boredom, disinterest, humor, curiosity, laughter, judgment, criticism, stereotypes. You will hear everything that isn't true fly through your mind. or you will hear your mind. <laughs> the inner critic. You will hear it decide beforehand what someone's going to be like. And after a while, you won't. It depends on how long you do it. After a while, you'll just see yourself. But it's just a piece of art. So don't do it too long. Just do it for a little while. And just imagine, as fast as you can share this video, signs popping up all over the campground.
just as a piece of art. An incredible piece of art. If I'm standing out there with a sign and someone gives me money, I go find someone who has less money than I do and I give it to them. It may happen. At first I refused it and then I realized I could give it to somebody who needed it. So that's what I do. And I invite you to do that. I invite you to not collect any money for yourself. And it may be a difficult thing to avoid because someone may want to give it to you. And then you may come up with rationalizations for, well, why shouldn't I keep it? And I understand that. But I invite you, as part of the piece of art, to simply let money slip through you to those who need it. When you get it, if you get it, while you're holding the sign. This is a humongous waiting room, and everyone who has ever died, died right here. If we don't want our children to have to be at war with our children, meaning if we care about life at all, then it would be helpful for us to stop hoarding things. Squirreling away whatever we find in our incredible and violent game of finders keepers. We are very good at sharing. Not all of us, but most of us. So maybe we can share this idea as fast as you can. So that for one moment, this piece of art has a chance to live just for a little while. It can't be a philosophy. It can't be a movement. It can't be an organization. And it can't be a truth of any kind. The minute it tries to become those things, it's, it's lost to the stupid insanity that is human certainty. But just for a moment, it can be on the campground. This incredible piece of art can be. We are still here. We are not dead yet. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your work in our world.